stay on that on that positive track, you know, and things will change. And it's going to be a grind, and it's going to be hard, and it's going to be a lot. There's going to be days where it's tough, and you want to give up, but don't give up. You know, believe in yourself. Welcome to the conclusion of our talk with Executive Chef Todd Whitman of Serenite Restaurant and Culinary Institute. Todd's story is so powerful and motivating, it lets you know that with the right focus and motivation, we can rise above any circumstance. I always loved food. Growing up, right. I worked for the Great American Rib Cook-Off. I went all over the country for Desperado BBQ and Ribs, okay. loved it. My cousin's husband owned Italian restaurants for 20 years, worked on and off, but didn't get serious about my, my, my uh, career, you know, until I got clean, you know, and I just put my recovery and my career, you know, um, put a lot of hard work into it, still hard work, a lot, you know, every day, it doesn't go away. So this is grill station right here. This is where we keep, you know, a lot of our steaks, a lot of our lunch sandwiches in here. This is a, this is for our, our uh, pork tomahawk. That's one pound of uh, pork. I created a Jack Daniels house barbecue sauce with it. Roasted cauliflower, Yukon gold potatoes roasted. So, uh, you know, a lot of classics. You know, just to see you, you know, or somebody in that position like you're in and know that I know what could happen because Todd did it. Chef did this before. That's where the connection starts. Not only with myself, though, with our team, our general manager, assistant manager, uh, they've been through, you know, everybody's got a story here. And, uh, you know, and just having that connection and just letting them know like, hey, you know, 10 years ago, I say we gave away our kids, you know, we lost our kids, you know, in the system. Now my wife's a social worker for Children and Family Services. Nice. Hearing that is powerful because like you said, with, with children or what was going on, to say I want it to be different and actually do it. It can happen, and to see you doing it is just motivation for um, not just here, but I would think people that you come in contact with outside of the restaurant, just friends and relationships and so forth too. Yeah, it truly has been there. You know, uh, people are like, "Wow!" You know, it, it's crazy. Like I have state representative judges. You know, I, I do a lot of you know uh, free cooking demos in senior facilities. I talk in Medina County Jail. I spoke in Mansfield Prison on the walls in the cam two years ago. Um, do a lot of cooking demos and treatment centers, you know, and they're just like, you know, thank you for coming. I'm like, thank you. You don't know how much this helps me, you know, because there was, like I said earlier, there was good people in my life at certain points, you know, and I needed to hear that. I would never imagine seven years ago that I'd be a successful executive chef, you know, um, and the opportunities are just plentiful today, you know, and I just keep that mindset. So, you know, get help, ask for help, put yourself around good people, you know, and change. So after we train the students how to do the stuff, then they actually do it. So we put it on the prep list, observe them, you know, but uh, first we teach them the basic stuff, culinary math, how to read a recipe, how to use your knife. Uh, and then, you know, then we start with the training, with the recipes, and then they actually do it. You know, we have a ton of spices, saffron right here, which is uh, an expensive Spanish, this is $100 an ounce. Chef Todd, um, what, is it, what does it mean to be a part of this restaurant and a part of this institute to you? It means so much. Um, personally in recovery, coming on seven years of total abstinence um, and just being able to give back. That's where I'm at in my life. You know, being able to teach other people, um, to just show them that they can do it. You know, um, they can be successful in anything that they want to do in life if they just put the effort and stay clean. Um, and, and building, um, you know, that recovery foundation, building that network um, and having that support, you know, it, it means everything. You mentioned um, being honest with yourself um, and being, um, you know, able to face the truth. Um, how, do, how do people do that? Because that's, it's, when you hear it sometimes, it's it just, for whatever reason, people want to reject that or go away from that, even though it is true. What, what advice would you give to, to be able to, to deal with the truth and accept it, to move forward? That's when my life definitely changed, when I was able to face the truth. And, and for me, you know, I was doing, I'm in 12-step recovery um, and just working steps for myself, you know, and even if you're not in 12-step recovery, you know, just facing those skeletons in the closet and really working uh, on yourself and working with people who are genuine you know, and people that, you know, that, um, that are good people. And, you know, that's where the change starts coming, you know, and then you, you can't stop at that point either. You know, that's just the very starting process, you know, 
and uh, you know, and then believe in yourself. I am Todd Whitman, executive chef at Serenity Restaurant Culinary Institute. I am American Trade. If you like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. And please don't forget to share with at least six people.